Oh, hi there. So, hi, I'm Carrie with White Magic Sammy Eds, and this is Gator. Gator's about 17 weeks old, and he's got big, huge whopping growth plates. Puppies at this stage, their ears are either up between 8 and 12 weeks, or they have big, thick ear leathers like this, and a lot of hair on it. And with the big growth plates, he's growing at a very fast rate. The ears are up and down, up and down. So, two factors. When the ears are trying to go up, if your puppy's ears are flopping a little bit, and he's nice and skinny like Gator is, um, then it is due to the weight of the hair on the ears. Now, it can be just one pound overweight, and that'll be enough weight that the legs or the body's going, hey, we need to support all this weight. So the calcium in the body is gonna go to the joints to support the weight. Even one pound heavier than a puppy should be during this big growth stage can affect these ears from going up. So I've been very careful with his cookies. Um, we've been monitoring closely to keep him lean and mean. I can feel the backbone, I can feel the ribs easily. And he might actually need to lose a little bit of weight, but we'll keep a close eye on it. I'm gonna today take some weight off these ears. So when I trim these ears, if they don't start to stay up nice and steady, then I am gonna cut back his food to about a half a cup in the morning, three quarters of a cup at night. And it, once these get nice and firm and steady, and the calcium's going here instead of here, then we know we're doing or we're on the right track. So a lot of people even glue these ears together. They can actually be glued here. I'm not a big fan of this only because, not that they could be crooked like this, but if you have other dogs in the household, they could play, catch their foot in here and rip the ear. So I'm not a fan. I'm also not a fan of putting sticks in here. Um, back in the day, you could cut the inside of the Dr. Scholl, stick it in here and tape it and do this. Again, the dogs are gonna scratch and itch and really not, not that effective. What I found the biggest over these years is weight and just taking off some weight off of these ears. Now, some ears, he's got a nice ear. They're not big, they're not little. They barely come to the corner of his eye. You can take your puppy's ear and if it goes way over here, I'm like, boy, then he has a bigger ear. He's gonna be even a bigger, taller dog. So, or she. So in that case, sometimes they need, you need a little bit of help with this weight. So I'm gonna get over on the other side here. And what we're gonna do, thinning shears are best. You do not want to use straights. If you use straight scissors, you know, at the end of the day, then get your clippers out and just shave all of this off. You can literally, you know, if you guys have waited too long and your puppy is six, seven, eight months old, you've got very little time to get the weight off your dog and to like literally take your, take, go to your grooming shop and have your groomer shave out all of this. You're gonna shave all of this, all of this from the base of the ear all the way forward. Shave it right down, literally almost to the skin. Basically tell your groomer you want the ears shaved like they do a schnauzer's ears. Schnauzer's ears are shaved on the tops, all of this here, and on the inside of their ears. And I'm gonna take this off. This is gonna look natural. Everybody's like, oh, don't take my puppy's ears off. He's so cute like that. Well, he is, but there's nothing more unattractive than a Sammy Ed with its ears down. That looks like a great Pyrenees. So what's a couple weeks of a little bit of shorter hair here so that you have that beautiful Sammy smile looking at you for the next 14, maybe even 17, 18 years. We just had two girls just pass away, one at 17 and one recently at 18. That's pretty impressive. The girls do tend to outlive us boys, the boy, us boys, the boys. Gator boy here. So anyway, basically, and you take your slicker brush and then I go back with the comb. Gator cookie, cookie. So you can see I've taken off a decent amount, but I'm gonna take off some more. Don't be afraid. It will grow back as fast as we take it off. It's like anything, puppies are hair machines. So somebody's been having fun with his ears here. We have another puppy girl named Martini who's about 10 months old and Martini and him are buddies. And so somebody's been kissing his ears here. So again, I'm gonna get in here. Now I'm a retired professional dog groomer. So of course I make this look really easy. Um, I've been scissoring my entire life. So take your time doing this. But this is just to give a demonstration on how to get the weight 
off of these ears. And believe it or not, this little bit of hair, just this little bit, I've shaven dogs off and ears pop right up. So this little bit of weight, you would be surprised how much that can weigh down the ears. And he's, like I said, he's a little over four months. So his debut in the show ring would be at six months of age. Now he could still even go in the four to six puppy class and still look quite handsome. So it, it really, it's, it's not bad or awful looking at all. But some puppies, if you've waited until six, seven, eight, nine months of age, you, it could be too late. Um, what happens is if the cartilage here, it's gonna calcify like this, so you don't want that. You want to encourage this to stand up. And we are gonna do this to this other ear here. And again, we're, we're basically, if you look at the two ears, I took off maybe a half an inch to three quarters of an inch off. And again, it doesn't look like much, but it really, really, really is a lot of weight. So I bet you tomorrow and the next couple days, this will be all we needed to do to Gator. I'm also gonna watch how many treats Daddy gives them at bedtime, because we also give the dogs at bedtime probably about an eighth to a quarter cup each, just to for hold them over through the night so they have a snack and don't get sick and have yellow bile in the morning. My guys like their, their bedtime snack. So that's it. And it looks nice. It really doesn't look bad at all. You put your fingers here so you don't, this leather here, so you don't cut the actual leather. But that's it. And that's how we do ears. And soon his little ears will be up like, like so. They'll be up high, they'll, not high, but they'll, he's got a very nice ear set. So it'll be a beautiful placement at the end of the day here. So that's it for today and on for the next session will be how to trim feet.